Bubble Pop Kids here. Get ready, cause it is candy bonanza time. Oh, no squishies today, Bubble. Like sweet treats, sweet treats. Yes. Look at the Bubble Teams. No squishy chopping today. We got nine new sweetie candies ready to test. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, like what do we have? Like what is this? Bacon cotton candy. Who is this guy? Mine has some ooze tube. Is this an ooze for squishing or an ooze for eating? Look at that, green apple flavored. Weird. Gingerbread. What is this? Tons and tons of crazy little things here. Some of them are super gross. I don't even want to try like this bacon cotton candy. Ew, this is so, so gross. When I saw this, I just couldn't believe they even made it. Y'all get your fixins. <laughs> This is like the weirdest thing ever. I don't know if it's going to be sweet or salty. Ooh, look at that bacon. Don't forget to mention the green eggs and ham. Bubble, we have the green eggs and ham right here. Sam I am. Look at that. What is it? Got some green eggs and ham. Giant gummy eggs. Oh, this is so weird. I used to love this book. I picked this up at Universal Studios when I was there. Check that out later. And look, it's branch. We got branch right here. It's like a flashlight candy keychain. Weird. This is when you turn blue. The good part. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. What are we starting out with first? How about this little monkey gumball machine? Yeah. This little monkey is cute, but like, why is his face see through? Like, why do I see gumballs in there? Super weird. Little bubble pops, let me introduce you to the little monkey gumball machine. Oh, this thing is so, so cute. It's not even too, too tiny, but I love how his little face is kind of see-through. See all the candy inside. <laughs> you forgot to tell them the best part. Like, we don't need to put money. We just, like, turn the dial, and we get our gumball. Ooh, I got a blue. Let me try. Mmm. Mmm, I love these gumballs. Super crunchy. They kind of taste like double bubble. Mm, how cute is this to like put on your desk at home or in your bedroom? I love it. Ooh, pink. Classic pink one. Let's try to get all the different colors. Like I want one of each. Let's do that. What's going on? What's going on? Come on. I need my candy. Pink. I think it's jam bubble. Ooh, blue. We already got blue. I want orange or white. Ooh, another pink. A red. Red. I want green. Where's the green one? Where is the green one? Yeah. Ooh, there it is. Yummy. Ah, you, bubble. So there it is, the first one up. I really love it. I have never seen a little machine like this. No, really, they're just plain, like red or blue. I love this little monkey face on here. They even had an alligator, but I like this one a little bit more. Moving along. Before we move along, bubble, I need more bubbles. Let's get them. More bubble gum, more bubble gum, more bubble gum, more bubble gum. Yes, yes, yes. All the different colors. Ooh, finally got some orange. Yes. Next up, bacon cotton candy. Ooh. Bubble, just like want you to know, you are seriously the only person in the world who would buy this, who would buy a bacon cotton candy. And like, who is Lester Fixins? Did he make this? Uh, it's gonna be bad. Judging by the looks and sound of this, I don't think I'm gonna like it. But I've got to try. Let's open it up. Ugh. What color is it? Ooh, ew, ew, it stings. It smells like bacon grease. And the funny thing about it, it don't look like regular cotton candy. <laughs> ew, it's not even like super fluffy. I mean, it is kind of like the bag's cotton candy, but oh, it smells so bad. It's got all these little red dots. I don't know if they're like little meaty pieces. Ooh, I can't even smell it. Quick little try, I'm plugging up my nose. Let's do it. Ah, bubble, bubble, this should be illegal. This should be illegal in like every state and every country. Uh, oh, I throw up. Oh, I took a little piece. I couldn't take it, I spit it out. You guys, this is the worst tasting candy, food, probably anything you'll ever try in your life. Oh, it does have a bacon taste. It has that fluffy, kind of like a sugary taste but the grease like overpowers it. It's greasy, it's salty, it's bacony. Disgusting. Disgusting, like bubble disgusting doesn't cut it. Like that is not the word. I don't know what word to use, but shove this big like bacony pillow back in the bag and like never turn back. Never think of it again, never. This fluffy cotton candy isn't candy. It's bacon bits inside of like bacon grease fur. This is like piggy fur, yeah. From the greasy bacon, whatever that was, we got some gingerbread. 
flavored with gumdrops. What is that? What is that? Like that is a little little gingerbread from like Shrek. It says Shrek, flavored with gumdrop bits. Like is it chocolate or what? what? This is another candy I picked up at Universal Studios. Ooh, it even says it on there. I thought it was like the cutest little bar with this little gingerbread. It's like gingerbread flavored bar. And <laughs> I don't know what that means. It feels like a chocolate bar. Check it out. Gingerbread. Maybe it's a cookie. I think it's a cookie bar with like gumdrops inside. Oh well, no. Looks like a chocolate with gumdrops. Weird. Hmm. <laughs> a little more confused. This looks like a chocolate bar. Maybe it's like gingerbread flavored chocolate. <gasps> so cute. Look at those little bright little gummy drops. Ooh, the picture's on the other side. Little gingy. Take a bite of this. <clears throat> Most delicious thing I've ever had in my life. Bubble, do you know what this is? This is gingerbread cookie flavored cocoa with like little gummies, like little squishy candies. Delish. Mmm, mm, so, so good. I know Christmas is over, but it's got that gingerbread, kind of like a spicy flavor. The chocolate is so good, almost like a Cadbury bar. And I didn't taste one of these little, these little gummy things. Let me get one. Like milky chocolate, gooey, like gummy candy, all wrapped in one. Do you like a bubble? Mmm, that's really, these are not as chewy as you think they are. They're kind of hard, but they're tasty. They're kind of like a fruit flavor mixed with the gingerbread. Not something I would like rush out to buy again, but I did like it. I liked it. I like the colors. Super different. Yummy. This is amazing. Like, we got to go back to Universal and get more of these. Seriously. Okay, next one. Speaking of Universal Studios candy, I got this there. It's like a little green eggs and ham box. Bubble, one question for you. If it's green eggs and ham, why are the eggs traditional yellow? Where's the green? Where is it? Now the cute thing about this is the packaging. They actually made this box look like a little book. How cute is that? I think I had one of these before. I can't remember. Maybe it was Shrek or another one. But why are the eggs yellow? Shouldn't they be green like the picture? Check it out. Whoa. So many things wrong right now, Bubble. First of all, the eggs are like orange. They're not even yellow, but they look super realistic. But they're not green. Like false advertising. But anyways, they are huge. They're like real egg size. This is unbelievable. I have had little gummy eggs before, like these little gummy fried eggs. They've been like this big. These are like a full size egg. Wow, I've never seen these like that. I wish they were green, but they're good enough. Look at that. It's bigger than my hand. Can we squishy chop it because it looks like a squishy toy? Doesn't even look like food or candy. Can we chop it? Can we chop it, Bubble? I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna, like, solid. Probably are the biggest gummy eggs in the world. Wow, they smell so, so good. I don't know what scent this is. What's it supposed to taste like? Mmm. Mmm. Wow. You know what's super funny? It could have been egg flavored, but it's not. It tastes like watermelon. Watermelon flavored eggs that look like this, like jackpot. Oh, they are so good. They're so fruity. They're chewy. They're watermelony. I just don't know. This is kind of creamy, like a milky kind of taste. And they are big. <laughs> All you need is one of these. Good enough. Loves them. Me loves them too, Bubble. Sam I am. Bubble. Me loves them too. Yummy. Pop our little gummy snacks. Ooh, I'm going to save these. I think only one a day because they're so, so big. Put them back in my Dr. Seuss book. Move along. Zah. From green eggs and ham to some green apple ooze tube. Ooh, this doesn't even look like candy. It looks like a little bottle of slime. Oozing with great taste. Try it. Bubble, are you seriously about to eat a tube of slime? A tube of squishy? Don't think this is candy? Don't let it fool ya. Don't. I had some little squeezy candies before and they were super good, a little bit tardy. Never tried this one. Ooh, looks like toothpaste. Ugh. There. Little taste. <clears throat> Bubble, this is so good. This is so good. It tastes like everything sweet and sour, like all rolled up into one. Green app. Ah, I love the green app. I seriously love everything about this. Oh, it's so, so good. 
Probably the best oozy kind of squirty jelly candy ever. Mmm, so sweet, a little, little bit sour. Putting this in my purse. And <laughs> when I need a little sugar pick me up, it's perfect. Oh, look what I can do with the oozy candy. Look what I can do with it. I can like squirt it on a gumball and like make the gumball super sticky and sour and like chew it. Do that. Whoa, Bubble, hold up. You got Hello Kitty mixed drops? Like, what are mixed drops? I don't get it. Ooh, what do we got here? Some Hello Kitty mixed drops. Now, I saw this and I thought it was like the cutest little jar or package. It's almost like in a can. Like a can of meat or spam. And I love the Hello Kitty. But what are mixed drops? I'm thinking like little hard candies. What are they, cheeseburger flavor? <laughs> She's got a little cheeseburger there. This is just like the cutest. Pop it open. <laughs> yeah, like I doubt bubble it's gonna be like cheeseburger flavored candy, but seriously, after baking cotton candy, like anything is possible. So just like, I hope it tastes like the ice cream, not the meat. So let's do this. Open it. Almost broke my finger trying to open this. Oh, it was so hard to get that open. It was like a metal piece, but I did it. Ooh, <laughs> powdered sugar. Ooh, sweet. Is this a can of powdered sugar? Bubble, I think this is like for coffee, not for like candy, but then there's this. That must be the mixed drop. Well, let me try. Mm, mm, whoa, <laughs> that is so good. These mixed drops, ooh, they're filled with this powdery sugar, but they are so, so yummy. They're kind of fruity. That one was like a melon. We've got all different colors going here. These are not your average hard little sucker candies. They are so flavorful. They are just so good. Try this orange. Mm. Look how bright it gets when you take all the sugar off. Mmm. Tastes like a tangerine. Try the purple. Like take all the sugar off and see if it's grape. Mmm. Ew. That's root beer. Ah, what other flavors of mixed drops do we have? The root beer one was gross. Let me try. Let me try the green. Maybe it's watermelon. Ah, that one's mint. These are so, so good. Oh, they're delish. They're so good. They're not too, too sweet. I don't get why there's so much powdered sugar on them. I didn't like the root beer one too much, but I love this red one. It's kind of like berry or like a, a cherry. Mmm. That's too good. I love these. And more than the teeth and more than the candies, I just love this little Hello Kitty box. <laughs> it's so cute. Loves it. I should have just made like little Hello Kitty bubble gums because like these mixed drops, I seriously have mixed feelings about them. Like, why so much sugar? Why so root beery and so minty? Like, please. The craziest mix of candy ever. So many different things, some sweet, some kind of weird. But this is a classic Hershey Kiss times a million this thing is huge it is 12 ounces i've never seen one like this i've seen like the medium size this is like the mega jumbo must be for valentine's i could seriously eat this much chocolate in like two minutes bubble like seriously it's super huge but like i could do that open it this jumbo kiss really has to be like the biggest piece of chocolate cocoa i've ever seen in my life so like that's saying a lot look at it Oh, chocolate kingdom right here. You know what, guys? One thing I just noticed about this big old kiss, I think it's hollow. I don't think it's like a pure solid chocolate just because it's a little too light. I mean, it's not too light, but I think it's hollow. Only one way to find out. Let's take this little I Love Kisses paper out. Seriously, it looks like a fortune cookie. Like, I love that. And let's unwrap. She would show it on. Ah. Yeah. Got a big old hammer bubble. Maybe we'll take a hammer to it and like see. Solid or not. Solid or not. The smell hits you. I've been to Hershey Park before and when you go in there, you smell all that chocolate. This is what it smells like. It smells like a chocolate factory. Ooh. Looks like it was grilled. <laughs> but this thing, I'm gonna show ya. Look at this. Let me show them. Bubble, I'm gonna like squishy chop the chocolate with your shishies. Look at this. 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 Squishy chopping, a little squishy hammering with this thing. I demolished it. This chocolate was solid. And I kind of like that it was solid because it's easier to eat. Break little pieces. Ooh, I got a little chocolate bowl. Nice. 
Well, I got a good idea, Bob. Oh, let's get this chocolate bowl. Let's like fill it with like potato chips, melt a little bit, and like dip the salty chips in the chocolate. Isn't that genius? We need to do that like pronto. Look at this. I'm putting the chocolate in the chocolate bowl. That is, that's amazing. Wrap this little baby up, save it for later. Oh, I can't waste this. I actually think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put some potato chips here and dip them in the chocolate. That is so weird. <laughs> Ooh, and I love this red pizza. Yeah, put the little kisses note in there. It's so cute. Look at that. Loves it. You know, I've been eating warheads for years, but I don't think I've ever seen these. These sour dipping pucka packs. Ooh, they got different flavors. Mmm. We got two different flavor combos. Sour blue raz and sour cherry. Sour watermelon and sour grape. Sounds delightful. Open it. Look at all these packets of sour goodness. The bag had 10 different packs. Ooh, I think we get five of each. You know I love the watermelon. Let's try it. Ooh, the stick is watermelon. Mmm. The dipping stick is watermelon. The sour green app is like the dipping powder. So let's do that. Because I think those two flavors bubble go hand in hand. Don't you think so? Look at that. It's gonna be sour. So, so good. You don't know that I'm tasting it. I think I've had these before. I don't know. I remember they were so good. Super sour. Woo! My tongue is burning. Mmm, I love that combo. Try the sour blue raz. Dip and stick. And the sour cherry powder. Ooh. Yummy. Well, like definitely hands down. Sour watermelon, sour green apple wins. Sour blue raspberry, sour cherry is like not so good. I love this one. I love all of it. So yummy. Yummy. Mm, so good, but like my tongue is burning. But like who cares? So sweet. Loves it. Ooh, these have a little kick to them. My tongue is kind of burning and tingling, but it doesn't matter because they're so yummy. We're on to the final. We got a little Trolls candy flashlight. Bubble, like, please don't get mad at me. Please don't get mad at me. I have to do this. I have to do this. I've wanted to do this forever. I've wanted to give Branch a haircut forever. And, like, I'm doing it right now. And your candy bonanza. Don't get mad. Ooh, I'll leave that one piece. Looks real good. Actually, I think I'll chop that piece because, like, it looks ridiculous. We're gonna make a shorter cut. Super stylish. Super fuzzy. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at his hair! What? Look at my poor branch. What's going on? Ooh, I kind of like this hairdo. It's a little thicker. Check out the candy. Actually, before you check out the candy, check out the flashlight. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that bubble. There is a laser beam popping out of the cupcake. Unbelievable. Ooh, I actually love this thing. So many uses. We got a trill, we got a flashlight, we got a little keychain, and we got some trosh candy. How sweet is that? Poppy, yes. We got some poppy candy. Try it out. Ooh, these little sugar balls. Why do they always put these little sugar balls in the candy toys? But they're so good. Yeah. Delicious. Not the best tasting candies in the world, but super sweet. How can you beat this? We get these little candy pebbles. We get a little branch. We get the light. Love it. Basically with this candy, like you get everything in the world. Loves it. Out of my little sweetie pies, the candy bonanza is complete. Tested all these candies and I actually, I love them all. The only one I could not take was your bacon cotton candy. Ugh, so gross, so salty, so greasy. Couldn't stand it. I seriously love everything. Just like you, I didn't like the cotton candy and I didn't like the Hello Kitty mix drops. Like, especially Root Bear. So gross, but I loved it all. I love smashing the Hershey Kiss. Super fun. Hope you enjoyed it and we are gonna have so many more fun videos coming up on the show and if you wanna subscribe to our channel, just click this big yellow bubble with the bubble gum machine and subscribe. Have a great day, you guys. Bye. So the bubble, like even more than the candy tasting, I loved giving Branch a haircut. I like chopped his troll do.